thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today is a celebration. The American spirit is alive and well. And we have once again nominated for president the founding father of the America First movement, Donald John Trump. Unfortunately, this is also a somber moment for our nation. Two days ago, evil came for the man we admire and love so much. I thank God that his hand was on President Trump. And I pray for the family of Corey Comprator, who was killed at the rally, and for other attendees who were wounded. Corey embodied the spirit of America first. He displayed the ultimate show of love when he shielded his wife and daughter sacrificing his own life. He reminded America of what we must be, a people who will do whatever it takes to defend the people and the nation that we love. Thank you. I love you too. We will honor Corey's memory by building the country he wanted the country he wanted for his children, and a government worthy of the American people. For far too long, the establishment in Washington has sold us out. They promised unity and delivered division. They promised peace and brought war. They promised normalcy and gave us Transgender Visibility Day on Easter Sunday. And let me state this clearly. There are only two genders. And we are made in God's image. Amen. And we won't shy away from speaking that simple truth ever. The Democrats ripped open our borders and allowed millions of illegal aliens to pour in, driving up the cost of housing and health care while slashing American wages and eliminating jobs. They claim that our economy is thriving. Yet hundreds of thousands of American-born workers lost their jobs these past few years. The Democrats' economy is of, by, and for illegal aliens. Our open borders have also unleashed the worst drug crisis in American history. Yet while hundreds of thousands of Americans are suffering, the Democrats spent over $175 billion, your tax dollars, to secure Ukraine's borders. But they tell us the border wall is too expensive. Hmm. But an American government that serves the interests not of the wealthy, the globalist, or the powerful few, but of all hardworking Americans is within our grasp. <laughs> Donald Trump has and he will make America successful again. <laughs> he will make us wealthy again. <laughs> and as God as my witness, he will finally give us the country we deserve. Because Donald John Trump is the leader America deserves. God bless the American people, God bless President Trump, and God bless the United States of America.